Now, who said you can't get a lot Jay-Z to work? That you can't make an inline six out of a couple of four bangers? Because, I mean, making an eight cylinder wouldn't have been nearly as interesting. Hey there, fellows. I come bearing gifts in this episode. Check it out. Right here, I've got me a pair of wonderful engines for a lot of them. Look at this goodness. So they're identical, they are. Why are the blocks painted blue? Are you sure we got this right? Did you check the serial numbers? Anyway, we've got two nice M11 series engines. It's what they used in the 2101 series Lottas. Now, we've done many things with these, including making a two-cylinder by means of cutting off any excess parts. And that motor even started, it ran. I was even able to drive on it. But after that, people were like, if you were able to make a working two-cylinder, you should try making a lot Jay-Z. Now, that's all good and well, but let's have a look at an actual Jay-Z. So it's a pretty unremarkable inline-six. I mean, yes, it's reliable, it makes decent enough power, and overall, yeah, the pros of the engine do outweigh the cons. Now, we won't be dragging that two-banger into this. We'll be building this from scratch. We'll hack one engine and find a way to meld it with the other. As we all know by now, there is no such thing as impossible. Okay, enough talk, let's put together a lot Jay-Z. Let's do this. Fellows, on behalf of the entire Garage 54 crew, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And of course, don't forget to wish Happy Holidays to your own friends and relatives. Now, if you're looking for some cool gift ideas, check out the latest lineup of merch in our online shop. We're offering some trendy hoodies, neat-looking hats, baseball caps, an assortment of mugs and stickers, as well as an entire line of car accessories. Some of you were asking for kids-sized t-shirts, and now we got them. With some cool art. So treat yourself and your loved ones to some Garage 54 holiday goodness, place an order before the new year, and you'll receive a nice little extra surprise from me personally. Hit the link in the description, and don't forget to use the code G2022, which is good for a solid discount. Merry Christmas! <laughs>Then, yeah, this would have been easy. You press them together, weld everything, and it doesn't matter where you make the cut. We would have been able to use the crank as a reference point to weld the blocks together. You know what? I have an idea. We just have to measure both of these pieces, and then we ask Ivanich to machine a rolling pin. We bolt it down, and that'll help us weld the pieces of block together. Yeah, sounds good. That's the best option we have. It has to be this wide. Yeah, I get it.
Here's where we are with this. We've successfully welded up the crankshaft. Now we have a crank with six Conrad journals. We've welded on a piece of block with two extra cylinders. We've also welded up the oil galleries. As for the coolant sleeve, that we left alone. But everything we needed to, we sealed up. In order to keep the antifreeze from contaminating the motor oil. So yeah, the oil galleries have been welded up. But here's something else I'd like to show you. Right here we've got a couple of oil pressure sensors. One of them triggers the light in the gauge cluster, while the other... We decided to leave one that works with the oil pressure gauge. So here is what we want to do. I do think we'll have to make a few adapters for us to connect them using a tube. That's for the pressure to find its way from one block to the other. As for the coolant, we're just gonna allow it to circulate inside the block and do its thing. I can't say the crank is easy to turn. I do feel a certain resistance. But then we might be able to ever so slightly modify one of the journals to make sure we keep this ball rolling, literally just a tiny bit. Shouldn't be that hard. I mean, we've definitely seen way worse, so this isn't a big problem by any means. And so, now a tiny bit of polishing is in order, after which it'll be time to fit the pistons, as well as the cylinder head. So far the Lot JZ is shaping up quite well. It's a matter of assembling it now. You're gonna see it all happen in a split second. Let's keep hammering. So here's what's up, fellas. The engine is fully prepared for startup. There are a few problems, of course. Like, we had to make it so the plugs fire in pairs. We couldn't find another way to distribute spark. After checking, it all seems to work just fine. Over here, like I've already mentioned, we've connected the two oil pressure sensor holes. We're gonna try and start the engine with no coolant first. We have two carburetors, each of them feeding three cylinders. And now comes the interesting part. The starter motor is having a rough time, but then it's struggling, but it is getting the job done. Let's add some oil into the cylinders to bring the compression up and try starting it again. It appears that after turning the engine over, there is no oil left on the cylinder walls. Uh -huh. What do you mean, easy on the gas? We shouldn't touch it, period. Something's happening. 
Almost. Wait, these were also firing. One of these. Not sure which. Wait a second. What have we got here? This got a bit warm. But the hottest part right now is the starter. Not working. This is cold. Cold. Two thousand years later. It's firing! We need to synchronize. Here's the problem. As far as I can tell, Cylinder 5 is firing, but Cylinder 6 isn't. All of them are firing up to number 5. We need to investigate. But then I mean what matters is it runs. If only on 5 cylinders. I reckon we can get number 6 to work as well. We'll get there. A few moments later. Oh yeah, it works! We need to synchronize the carburetors. The two of us can't seem to get a rhythm going. But this thing rips. And all six cylinders are firing. It's all good. Now who said you can't get a lot Jay-Z to work? That you can't make an inline six out of a couple of four bangers? Because, I mean, making an eight cylinder wouldn't have been nearly as interesting. There's no such thing as impossible. As long as you really want something. Well, it runs. And that's good news. So yeah, guys, the engine turned out well. I mean, yeah, there is some fine-tuning to do to get it to 107% power output. But at the very least, we got it to run. So next up, we'll be synchronizing it, fitting it to a car, into the one that we use to bomb around a field, because the stock Lada engine felt really underpowered in there. But this, I reckon, should definitely be enough. At the very least, we've completed all of the dirty work. The cooling system we'll set up once this engine is fitted to a car. And that's all I got for you. The engine runs, you guys asked for a lot, Jay-Z, and we made it happen. So you guys watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.